Hello everyone and welcome to the Dex of the Weekend of the 23rd of January. Uh, we're gonna see what uh, did well this weekend in uh, Modern, Alchemy and Historic today. Starting off of Modern, which is definitely the format that I, um, that I just like the most these days. And uh, this is the deck that Spider Space, um, a Magical Land streamer, took to the second place of the Modern Showcase that happened over this weekend. Uh, eventually won by Amula Titan. You can always find these decks on, uh, well, the easiest place is probably MTG Goldfish, but also if you Google MTGO decks. And uh, this deck has uh, four Indomitable Creativity. We see this card in Historic very much, not that much in um, Modern, and especially the Modern list usually played with Emrakul Dion Store. And instead, Spider, uh, Spider Space is playing with uh, uh, Archon of Cruelty, three copies of the card so that you can creativity up to three of these, and, uh, well, Arcan of Cruelty has been proven to be excellent whenever reanimated with Persist and a Market Grave, but you can also cheat it in play this way. And you are a control deck, uh, so you can just drive uh, the dra drag the game enough to just hard cast these. Uh, how, do you, uh, how do you get the tokens with the creativity? Well, you have Art Evidence, you have the uh, Dwarven Mine, which is uh, a mountain, so you can fetch for this. So if you go like fetch them, uh, mountain, 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 fetch for dwarf and mine, you can already play an incredible creativity for one archon on turn four. And then you have Prismari Common to get the token. You have Far Ice, Remand, Bolt, Ending, and Spell Pierces interaction. And we have the powerful Planeswalker of Ren, Teferi, and Jace Thomas Sculpture, better than all. In the side, there's three the uh, Bill of Summer, which has proven to be the card uh, to cyber in against Grex's Shadow. You have the Emrakul, which you can even bring it in, not only against the mill in this, in this, in this deck, you can just add more threat density, so against control decks, if you just want your Indomitable Creativity to not be dead in the late game after you draw the Archons. And then some anti-burn, anti anti-cascade, and anti-saga, and so on and so forth. They're quite easy to explain sideboard, but yeah, the, the core of the deck is the Creativity Archon, certainly a deck I'm going to be playing on my channel, so if you enjoy this type of decks, uh, definitely stay tuned. Uh, let's move now on to um, Magic uh, Arena, where we're gonna uh, take a look at the... Um, mm -mm, let's see if I find the Echo Claw. Sorry, I was looking for the scene where my face would be tough. Uh, bottom left. All right, and this is the uh, Arachnus Arcanist that came second in the MTG Arena Zone Championship. I like to showcase. Uh, this is uh, with MTG Melee. You can easily, um, you know, see who did well. And Celestine Enchantress won the whole thing with three of them in the top eight. Celestine Enchantress is sorry, two of them with ninth place was a deck that was really bad against Humans, which Humans was like the most popular deck. But that deck really fell out of favor. Uh, basically, no Inquisitor Captain deck is doing well recently on, on this tournament. And uh, yeah, uh, Monte Garcia Ayensa did well with Rakos Arcanus, which is a pretty beloved deck, I want to say. Lots of, lots of, lots of Arcanus whenever uh, I play Storic. Well, for the, for the, for the very, very long time. Some of them would with Lurus, and now you play without Lurus to play with Spyro, Chandra, Sorin, and CT Stalker Connoisseur. Whether that's right or wrong, I'm not sure, but. Season Pyromancer, definitely a very good card to put your Inquisition and Thoughts run in the late game at um, well, that place. Uh, four cool against commanding the 75, mostly as a card to deal with Graftigar's Cage, which is very much played and quite strong against you since it stops both the Arcanist and the Kruxa. Let's now go on to Alchemy, where I'm gonna show you another Rakdos deck. This time is a Rakdos mid-range that uh, uh, Jim Davis used to qualify to the set championship. This weekend it was the Alchemy um, Day 2 open uh, to qualify, uh, sorry, yeah, no, it wasn't open, it was a, a qualifier, you have to Day 2, it was really hard to qualify, but Jim Davis did that with the Rakdos mid-range deck that uh, Heliot Dragon, a, um, a French streamer, used to, used to, well, just play in the arena open and then also popularized. And well, this deck is a mid-range deck. It's playing Tyrant's Tyrant as uh, just a good, uh, good card, and just honestly, just a good old uh, mid-range deck that thrives in aggro formats. And you'd be like, man, why do you say aggro formats? I thought that Alchemy was like this key to the archive is a bomb format. 
Well, the reality is that that was the thing last uh, last week where all the streamers, just such as myself, played uh, Esper and so on and so forth. The Magic game caught up and Grood Werewolf from Frank Karsten that you can find in the previous videos dominated the energy series with 100 players. Five Grood Werewolf in the top eight. Zero control deck. So, if you are tired of key to the Arc Cavalier deck, I guess Gru Werewolf is the deck to play. And once again, you can check my uh, video from last week where I played this deck. It was very, very impressive in my hands, and well, it was very impressive on this, on this, uh, on this event as well. So yeah, uh, this Rakdos deck, it's probably all right against it. Well, maybe it didn't do that well in the event, but uh, it certainly did well in the hands of many people who qualified to the set championship or won $2,500 with, with this deck. So I guess tons of removal as well and some card advantage engines such as uh, City Stalker, Condister, Tolerance Tower and Sword and the Mirthless. Griffith Trespasser is an excellent card in a mirror match because it's also of course a, a threat that requires you two cards. But yeah, that's that's a deck, a quite easy and simple a control deck, a mid-range deck with some duresses in the side and three go blanks uh, among the 75. So yeah, those are the three decks of the weekend, the deck that did well this weekend. I'm gonna continue doing my, um, you know, my weekly video about this and I'm gonna continue posting videos after videos on the channel. If you're enjoying the content that I'm giving to you, please, you know, leave a comment, like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel so that you can, so that you won't miss the next one. Have a good day.